Hello, I'm Dr. Jocelyn Mackey, an education consultant with the Connecticut State Department of Education, and also a certified special education teacher, school psychologist, and intermediate administrator. During the COVID-19 pandemic, educators are learning new ways to promote continued student engagement and learning. Effectively engaging students from diverse cultural and linguistic backgrounds must be informed by an understanding of the social and environmental structures that influence continued engagement in the learning process. In this video, I have the distinct pleasure and privilege of speaking to you about how we might best engage diverse communities and forge effective homeschool connections in an informed manner. The COVID-19 pandemic has had an impact on all walks of life However, early indicators have shown that students from culturally and linguistically diverse communities are experiencing disproportionate adverse effects. As local education agencies continue efforts to meet the needs of all students, racial and economic disparities persist. Such incongruences are particularly exacerbated during a period of crisis. So the need for responsive and culturally informed interactions between educators and diverse families is high on the list of critical issues to address. These challenges underscore an immediate urgency to work collaboratively in a respectful and informed manner with diverse students and families. So what are some of the ways in which educators might best engage diverse communities? First, it's important to respect the richness that diverse students and their families bring to the educational environment. A study published in 2018 of over 4,000 middle school students in one of the nation's most diverse regions revealed that students who enjoyed the most diversity in their learning environments felt safer, less bullied, and less lonely. Certainly, when educators demonstrate respect for diverse family systems consistent with culturally and linguistically diverse communities, it enhances educator effectiveness and trustworthiness. Families know intuitively if their cultural values and ideals are respected. And when such respect is unquestionably demonstrated, the gateways to communication allow for meaningful and effective dialogue. Secondly, it's important to communicate with families in ways that demonstrate cultural responsiveness. This doesn't mean that you need to know the nuances of every culture. Rather, you should be open to listening, learning, and growing in knowledge as you lend targeted support and guidance to families. Additionally, as we continue to receive future projections about COVID-19 and its impact on students and learning, efforts to ensure each student has at least one trusted connection with an adult in the school will continue to be of vital importance. Students are cognitively, linguistically, and emotionally connected to the language and culture of their home. Although great educators come from all cultural backgrounds, Studies have shown increased trust levels between families and professionals when educators have the same or similar values and experiences. Educators who share the cultural and linguistic backgrounds with families and students may be particularly helpful in forging homeschool connections during this time. It is also important to understand that families are experiencing extraordinary stressors that have impacted their daily functioning. Families have been charged with making numerous adjustments to support their child's continued educational development. This includes embracing remote education as a means for maintaining supportive educational experiences, issues around technology accessibility and familiarity with online formats has also posed challenges requiring patience and a short learning curve. Parents should be encouraged to contact you or others as appropriate with questions or concerns. 
Some parents may not have had prior need to reach out to teachers, administrators, or support specialists, or they may be uncomfortable doing so due to cultural or language differences. Helping parents to understand the valuable role they have in partnering with educators is a vital step towards facilitating such connections. We also want to recognize the influence that family structure may have on how students and parents respond during this period. If parents are considered essential workers, this may lessen their time availability to provide instructional support to their child. Additionally, older siblings who have their own academic responsibilities may also be providing assistance to younger siblings. When developing lessons, be mindful of time management issues in light of students and parents who are juggling multiple responsibilities. Lessons should be flexible enough to accommodate the educational needs of students while bearing in mind such factors as immediate accessibility to laptops and Wi-Fi. Additionally, we need to encourage participation of diverse families in general and targeted involvement opportunities. This may entail ensuring that translators or community facilitators are available to support parents' involvement in various activities. Participation by community members might include being on a diversity task force or a resource to educators in need of culturally specific information to inform lesson planning or other activities. Finally, and most important, educators should form authentic and caring relationships with students and families. It is important to consider how educational supports and interventions can include engaging not only immediate parents and caregivers, but also recognize the role of extended family members. Of course, parents will determine whether such involvement should occur. There is a substantial body of research indicating that there is no significant difference in parents' interest in their child's success based on race, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, or cultural background. Instead, perceived differences may be due to how parents relate to educators, which is influenced by their cultural background and degree of acculturation. Educators have a phenomenal role and responsibility in the lives of students. And parents are equally interested in joining with you in support of their child. Cultural responsiveness coupled with effective educational programs and parental support provide a firm foundation for student success in school and in life. Culturally and linguistically diverse family systems have unique characteristics that contribute to students' learning. Recognition of this helps to build more authentic relationships with parents. And caring is demonstrated when educators continue to grow in their knowledge and understanding of diverse families and communities. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. The suggestions provided are by no means exhaustive. Instead, key concepts have been highlighted. For additional information, I have included key resources at the end of this video. And if you would like to continue exploring this topic, please feel free to contact me at jocelyn.mackey at ct.gov. I am always interested in discussing new information and ideas in support of our students. Again, thank you and be well.